Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So uh, lately, many Wing Chun friends uh, messaged me, asked me the kick techniques of the 1850 Wing Chun or the short strike Wing Chun or the ancient Wing Chun. And so since there are many requests and many questions asked me to share on the kick techniques, I'm going to uh, respond to this issue today. I choose to uh, reply it or respond it or sharing it today, sitting down here because I would like our friend's attention. I'm not here to uh, provide entertainment. I'm here to share the educations and culture of ancient Chinese Kung Fu or Wing Chun in the 1850s. So I like to filter out whoever is here for entertainment because uh, this is not the channel for them. And uh, that's why uh, as usual, if I see people uh, comment on my video saying that, oh, you can cut the time, on the presentations, I block them out right away. Because you don't go to a, a college classroom and uh, thinking that, oh, it's interesting. I'm going to sit down there. And then after the classroom, you thought that you know everything. So uh, I want to make this clear, okay? This is a serious stuff. This is not uh, the common Kung Fu stuff. Now, before I share today to give you a, a proper understanding of what is going on, uh, before I share with that in details, where after this video, you will see uh, there are many misleading today in the Kung Fu world and Wing Chun world. And you will know how to get the proper information. Uh, I will share with you this before I get into those technical. So what happened is that the other day I was sharing uh, Chinese Kung Fu's uh, information and somebody wrote me saying that, oh, this is stealing and that is stealing. And that's why today I make this in this video. So once for all, uh, I want this thing to be clear, okay? In this channel, since it is a uh, educations and culture based on ancient historical evidence and scientific evidence. I only share public domain information or my own information, which I can give out for free. So it's only public information, public domain information or my information, okay? So anyone who think public domain information is their property need to contact the organization which release the information to the world. And uh, they need to deal with them, okay? Either deal, uh, deal with the organization who release the information or the government who released the information, okay? And uh, not to accuse anyone for stealing. That is unacceptable, okay? 
We need to do things legally. We need to respect other people. We do not in public accuse people from stealing. Especially when the information is public domain information. How can it be a stealing happen? So anybody who don't like the information which is uh, belong to public domain, go talk to those who, uh, who release this information. Okay? That's how it is. And uh, don't comment on my video on those stuff because those stuff is, is uh, neither legal nor have a respect on everybody in the world. Okay? Like uh, we don't go out and uh, accuse people on stealing without evidence just because of we like to say so. Okay? Now, public domain information belongs to public. It is free. No one needs to earn it because it is not anybody's property. It is public domain property. It is open for everybody. Okay? So that has to be really clear. It is not anybody's uh, uh, property. As again, I said, if you have a problem with the public domain uh, information, go contact the government or the organization who release it to the public. Now, one thing I like to mention here, honor. The definitions of honor worldwide in the professional world, worldwide, is that honor means respect, value the information, and give credit to the source if one use the information, such as when one write a paper, one can cite this technical thing is from which pattern belong to whom or which corporations or which group of people. That's called honor, that's called respect, that's called value, that's called giving credit, that's called the proper professional way of practice. Okay? Honor, again, is not set by anyone. Especially when it is a public domain information and professional practice. It has to be, in one way, it is legal, okay? Legally, it is legit. On another way, need to respect other people. We cannot just go out there and say, oh, this is stealing, this is this, this is this. Based on what? If you do that in technically like Silicon Valley, you can get sued big time, okay? So let's put things on the proper uh, standard. Legal, respect other people. If you have problem with uh, say, uh, whoever released say the 10 commandment, go to talk to those who released the 10 commandment. You never say, oh, this person uh, steal the Ten Commandments because he tell everybody, he, he think the Ten Commandments is very good. He want to practice at his home. When people say the Ten Commandments is very good, that means he show respect, he value the information, he give credit, he of course respect the person who share the Ten Commandments. And he tell the world, you know, I'm going to follow this because this is a good thing. This is called honor. And this is credit. So we need to be really clear, okay? This is uh, year 2022. This is uh, a legal world. And uh, in this channel, we 
follow this way. In one way, we don't want to steal other people's stuff. That's why we use public domain information by evidence. On the other hand, we honor those who share and also we need to honor those who use it, value the information, credit the information, like everybody who is working in a technical deal in medical or engineering or science. You always say, oh, this is according to this, 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 this uh, professor or this, this, this research. And this is a public domain stuff, okay? This has to be clear because this channel, I intended to make it so that it is uh, a, a professional channel. And thus there's no, there's no such thing as a stealing or this and that or who play what, uh, stop that, okay? And uh, I am not uh, welcome those who like to, 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 to think they own the world because it is, uh, you need to be uh, handled thing in a legitimate legal way and then respect everybody. If you respect other people, other people will respect you. And also speaking of honor, Say those who say that they want to practice the uh, Ten Commandments, even though they not belong to the religion, they will be the one who will defend and champion the Ten Commandments. Those are friends. If the people tell you, I want to practice Ten Commandments, and then you say you're stealing. You're stealing from what? Number one is that you can see it in the entire world on Ten Commandments. Number two, this person is sincerely respect the, 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 the person who share and are giving credit and value the Ten Commandments. So how is he, he stealing? So this has to be really clear, okay? Because we live in a human world. We are not living in, uh, I'm the king. It belongs to me. The entire world belongs to me. Now, let's get into this uh, kick technique in 1850s Wing Chun. Okay. This is a serious subject. And uh, we need really to put our mind on it. Okay. Asking kick technique in 1850s Wing Chun or short strike Wing Chun is a wrong question. Until one know, one have developed the body handling strength, body strength handling and the momentum handling of the short strike. Until one know that, until one have a really basic experience to the minimum. Asking that questions of kick techniques of 1850 is a wrong question. I'm not uh, uh, trying to be harsh to, to, to everybody here. I just want to warn everybody. In today's world, I have often heard that uh, even Wing Chunner told me, all martial art is the same when they are fight. They just train differently, but they fight all is the same. So you train Wing Chun, when you fight, you can use Western boxing, hook and jab and everything. It's the same because fighting is the same. Many people believe in that. Many people is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, uh, saying those things. Is that true? Is that true at all? No, it is wrong. Not knowing that it is not true on all martial art is the same in fighting and only they train different. Meaning one is living in a fictitious world. They don't know what it is. They don't know what is martial art. They don't know what it is. 
while they might be a good fighter, in some case, but when you get the professional, they are, they are not there. Okay, so it is not true that all fighting is the same. So uh, different type of art fight differently. 460 years ago, Chi Chi Guang already know it. Okay. So uh, different type of art come with different type of body, body strength and momentum handling. Unless one have the handle of that basic body, body strength and the momentum handling, one really don't know the art. So unless one has developed that talking techniques, it's useless. It's just mimicking posture. This is serious stuff. Okay, this is serious stuff. Now let's 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 look into this. So let me share with you. So this is uh, 460 years ago, okay? 460 years ago. This belong to the long fist, okay? Let me... So, One second. I lost my stuff. So this all belong to the long face. This all belongs to the long face. This all belong to the long face. Okay. And So this is long face. This is belong to the short strike. Don't know why I, I lost my pencil. One second. Uh, okay, here. Okay. So this all is long face. Okay. And uh This all is short strike. And uh, this is ground fighting. So 460 years ago, it's already known. Your long fist, your short strike, your uh, ground fighting. This is Chinese Kung Fu. Uh, 1560. Now, due to the conditions of fighting, due to the conditions of, of fighting, if you look at the, say, for example, the uh, this one, you see the distance, the timing, and the momentum is very different compared with this one. Same thing with this one. Same thing with this one. Thus. All those things have different type of uh, body strength, body uh, handling, and the momentum handling. 
So if one is say, <coughs> if one is say, uh, if one is say developed in this type of uh, uh, body handling and body strength handling, <coughs> one will not be able to do this over here one will not be able to do in here with his uh, body strength, body handling. <coughs> so the kick techniques here will not be able to use in the uh, short strike. The kick techniques here is very different compared with this. So you say, oh yeah, this is a still, this is a kick. Say for example, uh, take a really simple one. Say, uh, take this one. Well, this is a kick, right? This is a kick, right? Are they the same? No, they are not the same. Why? Because of the body and momentum and body strength handling. They are different stuff. So if one is trained in this uh, long fist and one look at this uh, ground fighting kick and one thought, oh, I can do that too. Forget about it. Because your body is not trained in this ground ground kick ground ground fighting type of a body handling now to make it even more uh, uh, worse the breathing in this uh, long fist here okay let me clear this thing up The breathing. While one do these executions and one going down to the ground, make these executions is very different. When you go down here, here you can use uh, 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 kinds of uh, lower abs breathing. Over here, you have to know how to uh, switch between your, uh, what do you call that, your uh, chest and lower abs breathing. They, they are different animal now. So the same thing is, say uh, this is a short strike, a kick here. Okay, they, it, it, it just uh, using the knee to, 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 to crush into the opponent. One can learn this, but if un unless one have the handling of the momentum of the short strike uh, developed, there's no way one can use it. Because again, you have a distance, the space, the timing, and the momentum issue over this area. Over this area, if you compare with this, at this area, it is much closer. The space and the momentum is, is very different. So you cannot say, well, I want to kick this guy. I, and when I'm here this close, I want to use this type of kick. And so do the same thing. And when you are fighting here, you cannot say, well, I'm, I'm going to use this type of kick. You can, you have to have your body over this one. You have the body shoot in first to get the, uh, the, the, the body strength handling. And then you can do those kind of kick over here. 
it is a different stuff. And also, if you look at this closely, even within the uh, salt strike art, the body handling of the short strike, shoot in and sticking, striking, and over here is more tended to the throw and sweep. The body handling is different. If you don't train that even within the short strike, you have a tough time to even know what it is. Okay. So, so, so I hope that we all here see that we need to be really careful here. Technique is useless if we don't know the body handling, body strength, and the momentum handling in the particular, in the particular uh, 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 fighting zone. Okay, so this is the long fist fighting zone. This is the uh, short strike fighting zone. This is the ground fighting zone. If we don't know the body handling, we do not have the uh, specific uh, art functional training. Okay, say if you are a Thai boxer, you train this way. Uh, you are a, a BJJ or judo, you train in this throw. And here is like the Fujian dog fist. If you don't have that, those type of uh, functional training, you cannot do it. And it's useless. Well, I say, well, I can choke you this way. I can choke, choke you that way. But hey, in the, in the real life, my body cannot, cannot function. You say that why? Well, uh, after watching uh, the video of uh, 1850s Wing Chun, uh, you say, well, I'm going to shoot in. Well, Sorry, you cannot do it. Even though uh, you, you know all of this, even though you know you, 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 you see all of this, but you cannot do it. Why? Your body never trained to fight that close, how to get into that close. You never train that way. So, so, so those who say, oh, fighting is the same. Uh, every star just uh, trained differently. It's just showing that one have no idea what's happened here. So until one knows this, it is really, if you face a guy who don't know how to fight, yeah, you might be a good fighter. But as what we see today in MMA, when the opponent is MMA, trained MMA, where they have trained in uh, in, in, in all of this different range, you cannot play. Why? Say we are good in this uh, 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 long range hitting, long fist, people just going down to the ground with you. You completely lost it. Why? Because you have no idea how to handle the body to go to, to even to avoid going down. Because uh, the assumption is that, oh, because uh, I trained this thing uh, long fist, then the entire world is long fist. Is that true? No, I mean, people can go down with this like this, can going down like this, or can go shoot in like this. So even if one is really good in this, but when you, face a professional who train in all of this, like this uh, in the, uh, in the uh, uh, Chi Chi Guang's army in Kung Fu 1560. You cannot play. Okay. So, so that has to be really clear. So that's why again and again in this channel, I am presenting, you need to get your body of the short strike. If you are a Wing Chun short strike guy, you need to have your body strength, body handling, and the momentum developed, to, which is uh, supporting your, your, your uniqueness. Otherwise, techniques is useless. So you don't want to be thinking this way.
You don't want to be thinking this way. This is Mike Tyson. Oh, yo, I, I want to use a Pak Sao or Wu Sao. Are you serious? Do you know how many pounds is this? This, uh, this, uh, this Mike Tyson's uh, 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 punch. Do you know how many, how much momentum is coming in here? Are you serious? You can, you can, you can pack sao or, uh, or, or wu sao with this thing without getting the entire this thing blown away. If this thing, if, if this Mike Tyson, you see, you know, this guy, he have the body of his training. You see the entire thing is a, a curve here. You look at it closely, okay? You can analyze people. You see this curve, this really nice curve in. And you see this so-called Wing Chun guy is a breakdown here. So this will be, this, this, all this, uh, all this connection, uh, 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 corner edge angle will break down. Look at how, how Mike Tyson shot, shoot in. Are you serious? Techniques. This is uh, showing the completely breakdown in the real world. And, and with this kind of breakdown, this is opening. Well, this is just waiting for another shot to KO. So that's how much it worth for the, for the, uh, for the so-called techniques, okay? Same thing here. Why you see this? Are you sure that a guy who want to kick a roundhouse kick will be standing like that in this position, rising leg like that, and to let you let you over here uh, throw the kick? Won't a real guy who want to throw a roundhouse kick will go to this side, to this side, and throw the kick? So again, this is a technique stuff. You don't know his uh, momentum, the proper momentum. This is called movie, okay? Just look at a Thai boxer or a Kyok Shin doing a, a, a low kick or a round, a round kick to the, to, the, to the rib cage area or to the leg. See whether he will stand there or he will go move on or uh, to, to, to this side already. Move to this side to throw that kick. So, so, so again, the techniques. Look at this. What is this doing? Is he attacking? What is he doing? How is his handling of the momentum? It, it, this guy is momentum is going going in this direction. This guy's momentum is going this direction. This guy's momentum is going to this direction. How is it go uh, uh, fighting where we know that in the real world, The attack is go to the target. The attack is going to the target. Going to the target. Going to the target. Going to the target. Coming from different directions. Okay.
So what is this? What is that? It's all kind of nonsense. The fantasy is called movie. Okay. In the real world, you cannot handle those kind of stuff. Now, so like for example, people sometimes love to say, oh, they they use you have the sticky hand and then you have the sticky leg. Are you serious? Why don't we go try to sit sticky leg with the uh, Thai boxer friends or doing sticky leg with the judo car or the jujitsu car? If you do sticky leg with the jujitsu friends, see that whether you can take down. If you do the uh, sticky leg with the Thai boxer friends, see, see whether you get KO, okay? So, 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 so tell me, where is your sticky leg is? Is it a long, it, it, it is a, a, a long fist? Is this a long fist? Or is it a, a short strike art or is it a ground art? How is your sticky, sticky leg works? If it is a long face like this, this is not a sticky leg. This is the jamming him to take him out. This is not stick at him. This is go sweep him right away. Okay, or knee him right away. At a distance when the momentum versus momentum. This is so close already. This means shoot in and right away you crush him. Okay, this is you going down right away. You just avoid everything and you shoot him. So where is your sticky leg? Does it make any sense at all? I have this technique for stick that, you know, so that's the reality. So until my message for everybody is, if you really want to learn, pay attention to their body, body strength, and their momentum handling in each different, different art. Pay attention to that. That is the one which is the most dangerous, not the, the techniques. Techniques is you apply the techniques uh, according to the situations. But if you cannot handle the body uh, strength, body uh, the, 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 the body mechanics handling, uh, the momentum handling for that particular fighting zone, you, you have no way to handle it. Well, this is when you face the professional, it's like that, okay? It's not like, oh, I can punch you. I can, you know, you, you can punch me, I'm a 60-something-year-old guy, you are 30-year-old, uh, big and strong. That doesn't say that you have uh, martial arts training. You're facing an MMA guy like Xi Xiaotong, and then, then you see what other people can do. Just look at the, the Xi Xiaotong, how his body run, into, run, run through the entire thing. And as we know, in the... Uh, 1560, it is running through. If, if you are in the short strike in the long fist stuff, you look at this, it's running through him. Okay? This is going to go penetrate him. This is going to run through him. The entire body is running through him. Now, until one be able to run through other opponent beat in your short strike, in your, uh, in your uh, long fist or your ground fighting and so forth, one really don't know the art. Again, you can go beat up those uh, weak and never train. But as in this Jenna Chi Chi Guang's army, 1560, any one of them who trained the 32 momentum, you don't want to mess around with them. Because before you move, you know what the heck you're doing. 
as the Chi Chi Guang say in his training. You're always testing what is working, what is not working. And the bottom line is momentum, bottom line is body strength handling, meaning your body handling, body momentum handling. So if one don't even know that the exists of the body strength handling, what, what to fight? What to fight? That's how serious. So in, in today's Chinese Kung Fu, that is how serious it is. That's why Xi Xiaotong in China said, you guys are fake traditional Chinese martial arts. Why is this fake? Why? Because you don't even know. What is the ancient traditional Chinese martial art is about? You have never know what it is. You never train what it is. It just you think, oh, this work this way. I have this chi power. I have this hand techniques. So the bottom line I want to share with you all. The reason why I don't want to tell you about the, the kick of the short strike is because you need to focus on the body handling. A swimmer, when they are in the water, handling their leg is very different than a marathon runner when they run in the, uh, in the land. You don't want to make equivalent with them. You don't want to know that one is run, run in the land and one is swim in the water. And the guy who run in the land and the guy who swim in the water, the handling of the body, body strength and momentum is a completely different thing. Unless one find it out and be able to experience it, one really don't know what it is. And thus, if one one using, oh, I can uh, run this way in the water or I can swim this way in the land. Now you are get, getting yourself into a disaster. So this is what I like to share with you. This is the reality. So you look into past 100 years, 140 years of Wing Chun and uh, of traditional Chinese Kung Fu. What do you see? Anybody talk about this body strength, body handling? What well, the Chi Chi Guang already have it 460 years ago. If one know that, one be able to solve the issue with the Xi Xiao Tong. Because Xi Xiao Tong running run into his opponent. And his opponent, none of his opponent have the body strength and the momentum handling. The guy who believe in their hand techniques, the guy who believe in Qi, none of it know how to handle the practical basic stuff, the body handling. So this is what I like to share with you. Think about it clearly. I'm not here to badmouth anybody or put down anybody. It is time to learn the reality. Let's not put ourselves in the dangerous or war zone and with the false security thinking, oh, we can go fight a tiger. A tiger is a look like a cat, thereby a, a tiger is like a cat, a kitty cat, okay? Today, many people making those mistakes. 